Hey, I am Three Plus Key, your favorite social worker. Welcome back. I'm here to encourage you to pursue the smile by prioritizing the Lord, your physical health, and of course, persistent education. Welcome to TPK Kids. Today, we're reading a fresh book. It is called When the Storm Comes, written by Linda Ashman, illustrated by Tayu Yu. Oh, and in the pictures, we see the boy running and the dog behind him. But if you look closely, you can see that the trees are bent. I wonder why the trees are swaying like that. And here we have when the storm comes, we have the birds flying. Where do you suppose they're flying to is the question. All right. What do you do when the clouds roll in, when the wind chimes clang and the weather vanes spin? Look at this. And you can see the weather vane on top of the house and the little girl may be wondering why is the weather vane spinning like that? We watch, we sniff, we perk our ears and listen as the rumbling nears. We count supplies, we check the news, we find our comfort spot. We snooze. Here the foxes are looking at the skies, maybe wondering what's about to happen. And here we have a family preparing. We see a flashlight and a radio and candles in this picture. It seems like they are getting ready for the storm. Where do you go when the sky turns gray, when the grasses bend and the treetops sway? Oh, here's our friend, the little boy again. Now he's running, and the skies are very gray. You can see the trees swaying, and it looks like his mom is off in the distance calling for him. And look at the leaves blowing. Have you ever been in a storm before? What was that like for you? We gather here below the eaves. We roost beneath some sturdy leaves. We put our busy work aside and buzz back to the hive to hide. We find a small protected space, a hollow log, a sheltered place. Oh, it seems they're concerned about the birds. There's three little birdies in the nest. And it looks like their mama is coming to comfort them. And then in this picture, again, look, there's three little bunnies and their mom is coming to comfort them. And then we have the beehive at the top of the page. Have you ever been scared in a storm before? Who comforted you? And were you able to comfort somebody? Maybe your pet or little siblings or cousins? What do you do when the buoys rock, when the waves crash hard against the dock? Oh, wow. Look at those waves crashing. It looks so tumultuous. Oh, wow. The skies are still gray and the trees are still swaying. Sheesh. What do you think is about to happen? We ride a blast of stormy air. 
We find a cove. It's safer there. We dodge the weather if we can. We swim down deep away from land. There's the cove in the middle of the sea. And the birds are circling around. I think they're going to go into the opening of that cove so that they can be safe. And then here we have our whales. You can see the waves crashing above and the whales going down below to safety. Because when a storm happens, you want to make sure that you're inside and safe. We close, we cover, latch and tie. We bring things in to keep them dry. So they're tying their boat to the dock to make sure that um, it doesn't get damaged and that it doesn't float away in the storm. And over here, they're taking their umbrellas and chairs in to make sure that they don't get wet. How do you prepare for a storm? Do you take things inside? Do you get your bottles of water and flashlights out? Or do you hide underneath your blanket? Then lightning cracks and thunder roars. It shakes the shutters, rattles doors. The rain pours down. The sky turns slate. Oh gosh, look at that lightning. Oh no. We hunker down to watch and wait. And the little bunny rabbits, look how hard that rain is falling. And the little girl and the cat are watching the same storm, but from a different location. Is this storm ever going to end? We play a game by candlelight. Tell some stories. Curl up tight. We listen to the rainfall rush, then drizzle, patter, plip plop, hush. They seem to be enjoying each other's company. You can see perhaps they have some cocoa or tea, some cookies, and they're playing games. There's a lot of friends and family in this room, but the little boy seems... Like he's more interested in what's going on outside. And the puppy, you can see he's, the little boy is comforting the puppy so much that the puppy fell asleep. Wow, the puppy's not concerned whatsoever. That's why it's great to have what loved ones near. What do you do when the storm has passed? When the sun comes out and it's calm at last? Oh. Look at this. The waves aren't crashing anymore. You can see right here a tree fell down. But besides that, everything looks pretty great. Oh, and the sun is coming out. The gray clouds are going bye-bye. See you later, gray clouds. Get them out of here. We leave our dens. We scout. We fly. We shake, shake, shake until we're dry. Oh, the squirrels are coming out from their tree. The foxes are coming out of their den. The birds are flying around and the puppy is shake, shake, shaking the what off of his back can you shake 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 <laughs> <laughs> we 
We clean things up. We sweep and rake. We haul debris. We mix and bake. Oh, they're so busy. Look at this. Cleaning up trees. Raking up leaves. Oh, she's bringing her umbrella back out. And it looks like mom is baking. A tasty treat. What do you think she's baking? Brownies? Cake? Cookies? We check our neighbors, make repairs, bring out tables, pull up chairs. I think that's very kind that they're checking on their neighbors. And look, they're setting up the uh, outside furniture again. You can see the umbrella down here. The bunny rabbits are watching the action. And in this corner, the neighbors are waving to one another. Oh, look at this. And they're making repairs on the roof here. And two of our neighbors have delicious treats to feed the other neighbors so they don't get hungry while they're making their repairs and doing hard work. We settle in, enjoy the sun, happy that the storm is done, grateful for the change in weather, and for friends who flock together. So wonderful. They're enjoying their time together once again. They have, as you would say, weathered the storm together. Again, this is When the Storm Comes, written by Linda Ashmore and illustrated by Taeyoon Yu. I want to encourage you at this point to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment below if you like this book and what you thought of it and what book you would like me to read next. If you would like this exact copy of this book, email me at 3pluskey at gmail.com, which is also in the description, and I'll send it to you. Once again, I'm 3 Plus Key, your favorite social worker, forever and always encouraging you to pursue the smile. Hit that subscribe button for more content, and I'll talk to you later.